probably how good a feeling for that. Yeah, no, it's amazing obviously to get my first goal and in, in the manner in the manner it came. I was buzzing over the moon, the boys second half dug in after a tricky start and managed to get a great, great result. Obviously that tricky start being 2 0 down after three minutes is you know, it's 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 obviously gonna be tough to deal with. What kind of goes through your mind at, at that stage? I think just about staging yourself, just not conceding, going going ten minute blocks. Keep, keep chipping away, making sure we keep that ball out of our net because obviously, like you said, the tricky start and get into half time at 2 0 or maybe nick a goal ourselves and then regroup, speak to the gaffer and come out and come out flying like we did. And you obviously got that goal eventually through Jack Barham and, and that must have really spurred some belief, didn't it? Yeah, it was a game changer. Jack in the box all the time, always aware, good good little finish and from then on we was we was the favourites. We were flying, they was they were sitting back, we were coming at them constantly and in the end Sending off, sending off helped us as well massively. But even even with eleven, then I thought we was going to win the game after we got that first goal. And obviously, you've got your if you've got your height. That's what is is offer or non offer. And we've seen you move up there as a bit of an unorthodox striker to join the attack because of that. Is that is that something that you know you're just going to do because you can be that aerial presence? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just about feeling really. I just felt like the ball was going to come back in the box. It got cleared, but I just. I just hovered around really and I knew Stokes he, Stokes was on the ball and I knew he always puts in a good area so I kind of just felt it was coming in and luckily no one was near me and I managed to nod it home. And does a win like that really spur some belief within the dressing room? Yeah, 100%. I mean, we got belief anyway. We just need to show it. We need, we need to start like we finish all the time because we, we, we tend to finish games great. Um, but we can't start like that and do that every week because the results won't, won't go our way. But today, luckily, we're there for the boys' show. Second half, it did. And the away form has been... It's not been the best in recent times, has it? Obviously, we've, we've done so well at home, but away has been a bit troublesome. But does this kind of now say, look, we can do it against one of the teams that had the best home record in the league you know yeah same same with Solihull I mean it's it's, it's, it's we have belief in ourselves um, we just need to be more consistent away from home I think at home we've been good um, we've dominated most games at home um, just away we need to we need to shore up a bit stop conceding sloppy goals and we know we'll score goals so and as a well as a defender it's one of our probably one of our strongest places you know with you Hadji Ollie Harfield and, and Kean as well is, is, is that competition good? Yeah, competition's always healthy. I mean, every time I'm on the pitch, I try and give 110% and give the gaffer a decision because I want to be playing games. It's not a secret. It's not a secret to anybody, really. Um, all the boys want to play as much as they can, and I'm in the same boat. So when I get out of here, I try and give 110% for the fans, the team, the boys, um, and hopefully start many more games, yeah.